thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking Fire TV stick. Yes, this is the latest one. This video is going to be the anticipated video that we always waited for for a very, very long time. So this is a review for Fire Stick 4K Max. It just came out yesterday. So we just got our hands on it and let's go through quickly, cover a lot of things that is involved in this. I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon, select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. Here you go. This is how the box really looks. It has a lot of information in the front. It does say Fire Stick 4K Max. Look in the bottom of it. You do have the Amazon picture with a nice, really cool picture of the remote and the Fire Stick itself. On the other side of it, it does indicate that this is Wi-Fi 6 4K HDR. On one side of it, it will tell you that this is going to work with Alexa, with Wi-Fi, and also it is HDR in Dolby Digital. Chip is in this. And if you go on the other side of it, it gives you more information of what is included in the box, what you should expect from it, and more. Now, when we slowly look in the back part of it, there's a little part that you can rip open. And when that's done too, we're going to open the top. And take all the components out of it, one by one. And here are all the components that are part of the box. It comes with this user manual, and it has a lot of pages. I really like it that it also talks in French because we live in Canada but going inside of it you can see exactly how you're going to be able to connect so we will cover that in this video also how you're going to be able to play with your Alexa on the remote itself so there is a lot of things in this and when you go to the back part it's exactly the same thing to what you saw in English now it's going to be in French there's another little booklet that says important information it comes with an HDMI extender you can see this part is the female part and then the male part so that we goes at the back of the TV. It also comes with two batteries and these are Amazon basic batteries which is 1.5 volt each. Now it comes with this power plug. You can see that this is USB 2.0 and this part will be connected to your power supply. This is made for Canada United States and this way you can get the power. This is 5 volt 1 amp. They went even lower on their voltage which is beautiful. And here is the cable. Now I have to mention one thing that they did not change. This part is USB 2.0 and this one is a micro USB connector. So it's not a USB type C. I hope to see that in a future. So this way we can take more advantage of our fire sticks. I know that this will do the job properly and this is only five volt one amp. Here's the best part, the remote itself. It comes inside of this plastic and you can see how it really shows you how you can take it out. But once you open the bottom, and then you slide out the remote and this is how it looks now I have to mention that they did put some film on top so that it doesn't get scratched up even the IR section on the top and once you take it out this is how it looks so we can go from the top you can see there's a power there's the Alexa you have nice navigation key with the OK in the middle and then going in the bottom part of it you have the escape home and menu and then you have the Revine play and pause and fast forward and then you have the mute button the volume up and down and then also you have a source button going on the bottom part of it you have some shortcuts for different apps and you have their logo nicely written in the bottom saying fire tv now going to the back part of it it has a little section that you can open and once you open it you will be able to put those two batteries that came inside of the box so make sure you enter it properly and that's it now we can flip it so it shows the name nice there you go now we can put the back on and your remote is set. So now you will be able to use it and you can see there now it's looking for the fire stick. So that's how easy it is to process. This part is the mic and here is the Alexa button. Here's the big moment, the fire stick itself. And it also comes inside of this plastic and then once you take it out, And they have some important information in the back part of it anyways on the plastic but let's just take it out and this is how it looks again it looks similar to the older ones 
and you don't see much differences to it. It has their name on the top. Going on one side, there's nothing there. Going on the back, you have some FCC information and more. Also, it shows you exactly how many voltage you take. All the information is in the back. But going on the other side, you just have one power connector, and it does call power, as you can see it. And that's about it. There's nothing in the bottom. It just says HDMI. And on this side is just the HDMI connector. So there's no other connection on this. SD card slot, there's no USB connection. So don't mix this up with any other brands. This is Fire Stick. And this is the Max. So let's go through, hook it up, and see what we can get out of it. Now, as soon as it comes on, you will see the logo. This is the very, very first time booting in. All right, so once you totally go through the setup on a start, I got about two times of updates and then app update. And once you start it up, this is what you should see as the main screen. It is pretty nice the way that they have set up everything. You have most of the information on the top, which is flipping. And also you have these little menus so you can go through and some shortcuts that has already been created. And also you can see over here, it says select to view more apps. You can click on it. And then the other apps that you installed will show up. So that's not the only thing. Now, if you want to go to the front username and password, and if you have more accounts under your username, password will show up in the bottom. Another thing is going under home. You have these little menus that you can go through and set it up. And that way you can see a lot of things. These are mostly feeds from your Amazon and also from something like going up a little bit. There you go. This is from Netflix that I'm already signed in. But there are some other apps that we're going to go through and capture in this video and show you exactly what we found out, which a lot of YouTubers did not cover really fully. Here's a full, full information on this video. I am sure you're going to like it. All right, so enough said about it. Let's go through and start playing with it. So number one, we're going to go through, going to be the Alexa, and this is how it works. Now here's our test with the mic itself, which we're going to test the Alexa. So this is how it works. When you press the button, you see that in the bottom. So let's play something on YouTube. You see that it automatically launches YouTube. That's not the only thing. And on top of that, if I want to raise the volume, it automatically connects to the actual TV and you can see the volume going up and down. That is perfect. So now if I have to ask, I have to press the button. What's the weather like in Niagara Falls, Canada? In Niagara Falls, Ontario, it's 20 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Today, you can expect showers with a high of 20 degrees and a low of 16 degrees. You see that? So that's how easy it is to play with this remote using the Alexa app. And the next thing we want to go through is some apps. But here you go from the gecko. Let's go first through YouTube app itself. So going into YouTube and then we go into the search part and we're going to look for 4K. And there you go. This is the one we're going to select and we're going into one of these. So let's go through and play this one. All right. So for YouTube, we used our 4K TV since our capture device does not really give us the proper 4K information. Now going through it, you can see that we have reached our 4K quality. And that's not the only thing. We went a little bit more further as a geeky point. And just like what we did on our earlier video, we showed you that it shows only 1080p. Now it shows 4K. That's not the only thing. It uses VP9 for Kodak and more. You can see all of the information is there that how many frame drops and more are all available on the screen. The next thing we want to cover is going to be the Netflix app. Now, as soon as you go to Netflix, the regular remote that comes with it is going to work because this is Netflix UHD. Let me show you what I mean. And you can see on Netflix, we are reaching our 4K quality in perfect, perfect condition as long as your TV is 4K. If your TV is 1080p, it is only going to qualify and show you up to 1080p except that you can see the quality is perfect and it shows you the proper picture 
Another thing is that just by default, you can go to the market and you can download Disney Plus. Now here is Disney Plus. I have to mention a few things before you guys go next. Is this is going to again play for you maximum 1080p and nothing over. And the best part is the way that you know that this is going to be HD is you see that icon that I'm on called Disney. You see the background is a little animated. That's how you know that this is going to give you an HD quality. Except that it doesn't go over 720p with the other ones that doesn't show. So yes, it's between the standard definition and HD, but this one is 1080p maximum. Any of the videos that you want to play, it will play it for you. But the way that you know the app is going to be HD or not is these little animated icons to explain it to you. I do not want to forget, a lot of you guys are going to ask me, I know you guys are going to ask me, if you need a subscription for this or it comes with the Fire Stick itself. No, you do need to subscribe to these guys. So Disney is separate and Netflix is separate. And that's how you're going to get access for you to play with these movies. Except that you cannot just click on it and believe it's going to log you in. All right, so let's get out of this. I downloaded Analuddy, not speed test. So this way you can get an proper, accurate numbers. So let me launch it. Here you go. As soon as it launched, this is what you're going to see. A proper number. Now I am connected as Wi-Fi 6. This tag is called Max. And yes, this is Wi-Fi 6 connection. You can see my download rate is over 200, which is 339 megabits per second. And my upload rate is 29. So yes, if I want to play with this, this will be able to even bring in 8K. But the stick is only going up to 1080p. You can see that, that the download rate, or should I say my speed, can get me up to 8K. So I do not have to worry about anything. This will do the job for me properly, only using Wi-Fi. Now, the next thing that we went through is AIDA64. And let's go through and check it out. So number one, see the device name is there and then manufacturer. Going down under model number. And if you look, the board is called Kara. RAM on this is an actual two gigabyte of RAM. With the older ones, we've seen 1.5 or even a gig. So this is a lot better. And then the storage on this still is going to be eight gigabyte. So it doesn't give you extra space. But then we're going to show you exactly how you can add it in another video. For the meantime, the Bluetooth on this shows that it is four plus. Now going under CPU, you can see it is ARM Cortex A55 running on 1794 megahertz. It is a 64 bit ARM for the chip itself, but it is running on 32 bit at the meantime and also the cpu cores the ones that are running and the ones that are sleeping and you can see that it goes to a maximum number and then comes back down going under display itself you can see the maximum resolution is 4k and if you connect it to a tv that is 1080p then it will change to 1080p as native resolution rogue ge9215 it is running on 60 hertz maximum the open gl on this is 3.2 that means as if you want to play a video game on this as long as the capacity is good It's going to play for you very very fluent. Hopefully we will show you in this video All right going under network itself. There's a lot of information in this So let's go through one by one. There are some parts that we're going to blur out But here you go going down you can see that it the app link and 80 megabits per second frequency is really nice too The gain is really good for signal strength now if you scroll down a little bit here you go, 5G network is supported, yes, and you can see direct or indirect, everything should be working for you. Now going under Android, it is Android 9 Pi on this, level is 28, which is really good. And now going down, the security patch is from June 1st of 2021. Now under device, all of the information that you really need, even the 3D image, everything is going to be set up there for you. Codex is something pretty cool to go inside. The ones that we are really looking for is AC3, and there's some raw files there too. 264 is there too. 263. That's what a lot of people really like to see. Another thing is VP9, VP8, MPEG4, AV1, and that's about it. Now going through, try to play some videos for you. Let's give it a shot. So we already have some videos in here that we want to test out. So the first one we're going to play is going to be the 4K video, which is from Samsung and it is 10 bit. Let's see if it pauses. 
So it took a little second for it to start, but once it started, you can hear it, that it plays it perfectly. And that's what we wanted it, to make sure that we have that sound in the background. So this way you know that it plays the 4K video on this box properly. And now if we want to go through and try to play a 4K video that we have, this is how it looks. Took a couple of seconds and it loaded. And I don't see any type of particles. You can see these all these particles right here. They're all playing properly, so there's no stop to it. I really like that. You see these parts, the people are moving. So there's no pause to it. That's what we wanted to see when we were playing with something like a 4K video through any of the Android boxes. Now, I do not want to forget, there's a lot of other things that we didn't cover in this video. If you have a question, drop them. We love to cover those for you with your help. Except that this was our take on latest version of Fire TV Stick 4K Max which just came out. Links are available where you can order one and that way it kind of helps our channel up too. Except that I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is exitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.